Alright, monkey boy, so right off bat he will do a three string of attacks. Now, for you to be able to dodge it nicely, you just need to like watch his hands. The moment it glows, that's the moment that you dodge. Also, the third attack is a bit delayed, so do be careful about that. Now, after the three attacks, he will jump back. The moment he jumps back, he will do this uh, attack where you can actually parry. And it's important that you parry that, so you have like this long window to actually deal damage next attack is he jumps twice so all you need to do is dodge that then you get another window to deal damage look at this smug looking ass <laughs> with that pose and then right after that he will beat his chest and that signals that he will do this shockwave attacks so the way you dodge it is the moment he hits the ground right the moment he hits the ground that's the time you dodge you can also time it by watching his hands. The moment it glows, just press dodge and you'll be able to dodge it. Now after this, you will have this pretty long DPS uptime where you can just really deal damage. 
And then right after that, he will do the same three string of attack. It's basically the reset, so that's the entire kit for his part one until you break his toughness bar. Or maybe instead of calling it part, I'll just call it fix. So this is his phase one. Phase two starts once the toughness bar is depleted. Toughness bar is the white bar below the HP bar, by the way. So now let's talk about phase two. Alright, so for phase 2, after recovery, he starts jumping to his uh, totem pole, right? So with this one, it kind of works with when he's punching the ground, but this time, instead of punching the ground, he's punching the pole. So yeah, so the way you dodge this is very easy because you can literally see the shockwaves, right? So after doing the shockwave attack that he did with the pole, the next thing he does is he will shout and actually hit you with the pole. Now this move can be parried. Now you can see me parry it with switching. So parry is switching basically. But you can also parry it normally. I just like doing the switch because it's easier and it looks cool, you know. Next thing he does is he will put his pole on the ground and hit you with the drop kick. So the moment you see him putting his pole on the ground, you just run to the side and then deal as much damage as you can as he recovers. Next thing he does is he will hit you with the pole twice. Now his fist doesn't light up on the first hit so you just watch the animation, dodge it and then on the second one you will actually see his fist light up so yeah that's your cute to dodge. And then the next thing he does is he will shout and gather this energy and he will go Garen on you, he will spin on you. This is basically his most lethal attack on his entire kit. And uh, dodging this is a bit tricky, but once you know the trick, it's it's easy actually. So the secret to this is just dodge every single time you see the pole on this position. And this is specific position, just dodge right away. You can dash twice to make sure that you do the dodge, but yeah. He spins about six times, so uh, there's that. I mean, who's counting as long as you know when to dodge? It doesn't matter how many times he spins, right? <laughs> So there you go, that's basically it. That's basically all of uh, Beringal's moveset. I haven't done Hologram 6 just yet because I don't have enough damage. Like, Yenden is not yet fully upgraded. But yeah, I'll definitely make one in the future. So yeah, I hope this video helps you out in fighting this monkey right here. And if you're still here watching, just know that I truly and I really appreciate you. Also, if you reach this part of the video and you are not yet subscribed, come on bro, man, please, for me, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell on so you don't miss any Watering Waves content that I'll make. It helps out the channel a lot and it's free, so please, help me out. Thank you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye, for now. Janet.